Hello, everybody. This is uh, Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Silkin. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Here's what we know about what's going on at the refuge. One of the spokesmen for the militia, Lavoy Finnicum, is dead. The seven people, including Ammon Bundy, who were arrested last night near John Day, just appeared in federal court. They're all charged with conspiracy to impede officers of the United States. That is a felony. We are the only station that has been in Burns from the beginning, and as you see right there, the only station who was at the shooting scene right after it happened. We have continuing live coverage today. We start with our Eileen Park, who spoke with a man who gives us an exclusive account of the Bundy's arrest on Highway 395 last night. Eileen. Yeah, Jennifer, we extensively vetted this witness, and so far, his story checks out. He gave us this exclusive shot of the FBI blocking U.S. 395. He said this was taken moments before the shootout took place. The witness, Raymond Doherty, says he was driving from Pilot Rock to John Day to pick up his daughter there for a road trip to California when they were suddenly stuck on the highway. This video you see here now is also video that our photographer, Dale Burkholz, shot of the scene, and he was the only news photographer there to capture it. Doherty, the witness, believes the FBI shootout he witnessed was with Ammon Bundy and other militia members. Here's his description of what happened. When we first arrived on the scene and I got out of the pickup, there was, uh, there was a lot of smoke coming off of the, uh, off of the Bundy vehicle. Um, and the FBI was, uh, was hollering at them. Those funny shots being fired. There was lots of shooting going on. But I didn't see anybody get shot. I saw them shooting at each other. Maybe, maybe 12, 15 seconds. But in that time, there was probably uh, maybe as many as uh, uh, five or six shots went on. Um, and, and it, you know, was, I really couldn't tell who was shooting, doing most of the shooting. Uh, I did see, um, see some shots hit the pickup. Now, Doherty is one of four witnesses. He says after the shooting died down, the three protesters walked out with their hands raised one by one and surrendered. All of much more on this exclusive account at 5. Back to you. All right. He was just driving down the road there to get his daughter and happened upon this just like our photographer did. Mm -hmm. Eileen